This is the Explorer, put a 20, 20 foot mast, and Gigaparts has this mast exclusively. Jason's gonna tell me a little bit about it today here on KF5 IRA Ham Radio. Jason Scoggins and I'm KN4 RWZ, the Explorer Mast. We've had a lot of people asking for us to make a mast and some of the things they really wanted over the standard bear for the longest time is a little bit more robust, a little heavier duty, easier to use piece of equipment and that's what we delivered with our mast. So I've got our competition, their top element, and here is our top element. And as you can see, it's substantially bigger while not being any bigger than the original. What really inspired you guys to make the Explorer Mast? You guys did. I, I, we listen to our customers. Customers are telling us all the time what they want, what they're looking for. So we get enough people asking for that. We're definitely going to get in that market and figure out what we can do, but do it better than the original. So that's why we did it. The single biggest problem that we had was finding the right manufacturer. It's This is not a complex thing, but finding the right people to make it for you can become a complex thing. In fact, it was complex enough it took two years to finally find the right manufacturer to make it for us. What really drove you guys to want to make the top element stronger or thicker than the competition? Usability. At the end of the day, you guys want to be able to put something up and not bend over and lose half your height because the wire antenna that you're hanging on there is literally draping it off. So, like the old saying go, the height is might. So we made a product that will stand up to what you guys want to do with it. What kind of applications do you think are best for a uh, mass like this? Parks on the air, summits on the air is probably the biggest one. Anything that you need to be able to carry something that'll get you 20 feet up or 30 feet up because we are making a 30 foot version of this in a light compact package. That's what this is for. In my hand, this is less than 11 ounces. It is a little bit heavier, but it is, as you can see, a much more robust thing is a two ounce difference. Twice as rigid. I mean, if you look up there, I'm, I'm not really doing anything. The other one's just waving around. This is built to work, guys. This is a 20 footer. 20 foot even? Yes. And what's the shaft of the mast made of? Carbon fiber. Makes it a lot lighter, but a lot stiffer. Most important objective for this one was the stiffness of it and the lightness of it. So really only one thing does that, and that's carbon fiber. But guys, obviously, carbon fiber is conductive. Be careful how you deploy this thing. Because if you deploy it against the power line, your next of kin will wonder why you did such a stupid thing. So be careful. These things are designed for light in fed antennas. So you're not gonna put that much weight on it, but we've had over 10 pounds on it. We've had people put inverted Vs on this and it worked just fine. We announced it this weekend. This is the first time most people are getting to see it. And uh, how exciting, how excited were people when they finally uh when they finally saw it. A couple of videos went out about yesterday and people were breaking into the show to try and get to the last remaining few that we had. Needless to say, they're gone. We're gonna have more of these in about eight weeks, so just stay tuned, go to thegigaparts.com. Come Wednesday, there'll be a live page for this product, and there'll be a little thing in the corner of that that says, notify me when in stock. Put your email address in there, and we'll let you guys know when it's coming out.